Yeah, so we're still talking cricket. The ongoing ICC Cricket World Cup in India has been full of spectacular performances and incredible moments. But on Monday, it included a real bizarre moment. For the first time in international cricket, a batsman was dismissed by the timed out method. Angelo Matthews was given out in Sri Lanka's loss against Bangladesh on Monday after allowing the two-minute allotted time to elapse before facing his first delivery. Bangladesh skipper Shakib Al Hassan explained the circumstances in a post-match press conference. One of our fielder came to me and said, "If you appeal, uh, uh, the law says he's out because he uh, hasn't taken his guard within the time frame." So then I appealed to the umpire. Umpire told me. Whether you're going to call him back or not, you know, if I said he's out, then you call him back, it doesn't look good. I said I don't call him back. You know, we played under-19 together World Cup, so I know Angelo for a long, long time, since 2006. Uh, yeah, unfortunate, but uh, within the rules. Uh, as a batter, if you put yourself in Angelo's shoes, and if uh, the same thing happened to you, what would you feel? I'll be careful. It doesn't happen to me. Mm. Yeah, okay, <laughs> um, and Angela Matthews, of course, expressed his own disappointment. You know, if I got late, if I got past my two minutes to get to the crease, and in the law says you have to be ready within the two minutes, and I was there two minutes, 45 or 50 seconds, I still had, after my um, helmet broke off, I still had five more seconds to go. And the umpires also have... Uh, um, said to our coaches that they didn't see my helmet breaking. I mean, I was just asking for my helmet uh, there. So it was just pure common sense. I'm not talking about um, uh, mancading or obstructing the field here. This is just pure common sense and bringing the game into, you know, disrepute. Yeah, so Angelo Matthews was pretty caustic at the end of the match yesterday and uh, his uh, expressiveness continuing today and uh, went on social media and uh, calling for the ICC to intervene because he wants justice. Ricardo, before I get Mariah's comment, um, on yesterday's show, you had taken a position that was critical of Angelo Matthews. Since then, we saw another side of the story. Uh, do you still hold the position you had yesterday? I, I still hold the position I had yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and the simple reason for that is as a batsman, it is your responsibility to ensure that you are ready to face your first delivery within the two minutes that have been allotted to you. Now, Angelo Matthews is essentially saying, well, I couldn't have known that my, my helmet um, would have gotten loose um, when I got out there. That has nothing to do with the fielding team. It is your responsibility to ensure that your equipment is ready to play. And if indeed you are out there and there is something wrong with your helmet it's a spinner who is bowling i'm sure you could take that first delivery from shaki palasan without your helmet and keep the game going and you would be fine he was the one who went out there he decided not to take his guard um, and i don't think even listening to angelo matthews and i get the point that he is disappointed but i still don't think he fully understands the rule because i am thinking that he still believes that Oh, because I got out there and there was an issue with my equipment, then it was okay for me not to be ready within the two minutes. It's not. All that matters is that you were not ready. And for me, the umpires made the right decision. And I hope that Angelo Matthews eventually understands that the right decision was made. It was unfortunate, Lance and Mariah, but unfortunate dismissals happen all the time in cricket. We've seen um, batsmen hitting the ball straight and it going off um, the, 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 the batsman's bat at the non-striker's end and going to mid-on or mid-off and a catch is taken. So many unfortunate and bizarre dismissals in cricket, but it does not make them incorrect. And in this case, unfortunate for Angelo Matthews, but in my opinion, the correct decision was made. Yeah, hard for me to take, though, your point, Ricardo, that you're not sure Angelo Matthews understands the rules because he's, he's 36 years old. He's he has played, he has been playing international cricket now for a decade at least. Yeah. And he's a former Sri Lanka captain as well. So 
it's hard for me but, to but, think but that he didn't it, understand it's, it's, the rules. It's never, it's never happened in international cricket before, and we'll have an opportunity to look at the rule. But part of the reason I think he does not have a complete understanding of it is that he believes that by getting out there in the middle, in time, and then requesting a change to his helmet that he had made the time and in truth he hadn't because all that matters is that he was not ready to face the first delivery within the allotted two minutes and you look at um, the rule here after the fall of a wicket or the retirement of a batter the incoming batter must unless time has been called be ready to receive the ball or for the other batter to be ready to receive the, the next ball within three minutes of the dismissal or retirement. If this requirement is not met, the incoming batter will be out, timed out. And the important part of that rule for me is the part that says needs to be ready to receive the ball. And 40.1.2 says in the event of an extended delay in which no batter comes to the wicket, the umpires shall adopt the procedure of law 16.3, umpires awarding a match for the purposes of the law, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, but the first one is the important one. Yeah, and what I don't get is he cited the use of the word common sense. Mm -hmm. He's saying that common sense should have prevailed. And of course, the umpires are getting all the blame. The umpires are getting the blame. So, you know. From the, Angelo Matthews. Yeah, he's getting all <laughs> the blame from Angelo Matthews. And my thing is, these are reputable umpires. You know, if we check their names and their history in the game, they've been. It's just unfortunate that they didn't have. A dismissal like this before but they are really really versed on the rules of the match second thing is that you know a lot of people are also saying that remember the umpire asked Shakib Halasan when he wanted to um, appeal are you sure so yeah. I think the umpire carried out all the different things they, they had to do. They also asked him to withdraw twice. Yes. Yeah. Right. So for me, you can't, and this is the issue I have, blaming the umpires. You cannot blame the umpires for something like this because they did all that they had to do in their power. You know what I have an issue with the umpires with? Asking Shakib to withdraw. I, w I, was his, I was about to present that to you, Ricardo, because yeah. knowing you and the position you are taking, yeah. you would have a problem with the umpires doing that. I have a massive problem with it. And, and here is why. You don't like the spirit of the game, do you? I have a problem with lovers of cricket, cricket fanatics, saying to me that I should play within the spirit of the game when the laws of the game say otherwise. So if, you, if the spirit of the game is so important, then why is the opposite of what the spirit of the game is in the laws of the game? I have a massive issue with that. It does not make any sense. So you are saying to me that you are making laws outside of the spirit of the game. What is the point of making laws outside of the spirit of the game if the spirit of the game is so important to you? Mm. I have a massive issue yeah, with I, that. I, I take that point because the laws of the game are there for a reason. Yes. And, and you abide yeah, by it. Yeah, and, and, but I, I just think that because cricket has a traditional label of being the gentleman's game, which doesn't really <laughs> exist much anymore, but I'm just anymore, saying the history, I, this is the history of the game almost dictates that there's something about cricket that you, the spirit of, of how you conduct yourself and conduct a game is very, very important. I think that's why he's to, upset. To the purists that Ricardo just mentioned. But let, Lance, let me ask you a question, Lance. Ricardo is a, young, is a young cricketer, so he doesn't accept and those old-fashioned old fashioned views. Remember, he's a very competitive person, yes. so he's going with the rules once it gives him the dismissal. Mm. Let, let me ask you something, Lance and Mariah. Let, let's talk about the spirit of the game versus the, the laws of the game, right? When a man could happen, what is more against the spirit of the game? The batsman who is cheating 25% down the wicket or the bowler who does not warn him for trying to cheat? It depends on who you ask that question. Oh but, my, I, I, but Lance, but, I'm but, asking you. Yeah, but, yeah, but I, 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 I'm just saying that the older people in, in cricket. No, because no, I've, spoken, no, Lance, I've, I've spoken to cricketers. Are, are you one of the older? Are you one of the older people, Lance? I want to know. Yeah, what but I you want to make think. a distinction here. I'm just okay. saying that I've spoken to retired cricketers who yes. feel that when a batsman 
is the non-striker is edging out of his crease for a it's not it's not that he is deliberately trying to cheat it's just it's, no he it, is lance he is deliberately that's what, trying that, no, to that's, cheat that, that's what it boils down to <laughs> that's what it boils it boils down to but i, I I'm not saying that this is my opinion. I'm just saying okay. I know retired cricketers who feel that it is just the momentum of them getting, you know, ready, to run. getting ready to run. <laughs> so, so um, but I take the point. I take the point that if you are breaking the law to yes. try to get an advantage, then if someone stops you in your tracks, I have no difficulty with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that's that's the simple issue I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have as well. I think because it doesn't happen as often as it should, yeah. that's why it comes like VAR. Yeah. If it works for one, it doesn't work for one. I think that's why it's a massive issue now. Yeah, quickly, is sledging against the spirit of the game? I think there are, I think there are levels and scales of sledging. Yes. Yet, yeah, yet, but... yet, yet, Lance, cricketers do it every <laughs> single day on the field. Yes. But all of a sudden, because Angelo Matthews is dismissed in this bizarre, unfortunate way, yes. you are going to hear about yeah. the spirit of the game. Yeah. You are going to hear that Shakib al is the worst person in the whole world. You are going to hear that Shakib al should not have done what he did because Bangladesh can't even yeah, Matthews, make it Matthews to the semi-final. Yeah. Yeah. Matthews called him a disgrace. He is not a disgrace. He played within the rules of the game. If Shakib al is a disgrace, then the rules of cricket are also a disgrace. I can't agree with I can't disagree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Break time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's close this one off. Break time. <laughs>